I did a video a couple of weeks ago, and in it I talked about a rumor I'd heard where Shooty got what was supposedly already gone and had left the role of the very first Doctor ever. At the time, there really wasn't enough evidence to indicate that this was probably true. I mean, after all the money Disney and Sony had put into this and all of the hullabaloo and RTD running around, running his mouth. Put up your hands. Well, as it turns out, it appears that not just Shooty Gawa is gone, but also Millie Gibson, and you're not going to believe this, David Tennant hit the exit as well. Let's look at the articles. Doctor Who Shooty Gawa and Millie Gibson already exiting the series. Recent interviews with the actors suggests their future after 2025 may be in doubt. Well, one of the things that we heard again, going back to what Russell T. Davies said at the premiere of the Star Beast was that... Just look at the casting of Shooty Gawa and Millie Gibson. So brand new talent comes in. Extraordinary talent. Talent you couldn't have imagined a couple of years ago. They come in, they burn up the screen, and and that, has, that, that lifts it to new heights. So. He didn't know where the show would go after the two seasons they'd had in the can. Season two. Yes, we are. We're on three episodes into Shooty's season, but that's the way the effects take so long to make now. Was in post-production getting all that Disney money to make special effects. Now, at the time of recording this video, it is January 8th of 2024. We've had exactly one episode featuring Shooty Gatwa in the infusion of Disney agenda and money into that dead franchise once known as Doctor Who. That is one big pile of shit. Disney Plus is going to carry a show with the title of Doctor Who on it, which is not Doctor Who at all, featuring Shooty Gatwa has not the Doctor, and Millie Gibson has a companion starting in Spring, they're going to have episodes featuring a gay romance with Shuri Gatwa and focusing on drag queens that are somehow going after the Beatles back in 1960s London. I heard the Jigs and Taylor are gonna. <laughs> What? It is widely known, according to comic book, that the specials apparently didn't do as well as Disney Plus hoped. What a shocker. Who could have saw that one coming? Once these were on Disney Plus, they didn't chart on the Nielsen ratings. Also, and more importantly, Samba TV did not report any numbers for any of the Doctor Who specials. Comic Book News speculates that this was likely at the request of Disney. What does that mean? Samba is one of those bullshit convoluted sites that look at social media engagement and kind of fabricate what's going on with people pirating and watching things. And, and they gobbledygook something together with some algorithm that a company like Disney usually likes to use to tout the success of a show. And to me, what this says is that viewership on Disney Plus for the first two episodes was so terrible, they don't want anybody to know about it. Why do I say that? Because Disney did the same thing with Samba TV with Percy Jackson, that woke remake, Ahsoka, the absolute failure that is Disney Star Wars, and Loki Season 2, the absolute failure that is the MCU on Disney+. Plus. All right, so what do I mean when I say that Shooty Got was already gone? All of the actors portraying Doctor Who since the reboot in 2005 have managed to stay at least three seasons with one notable exception. Can you guess who that is? Sacked Russell T. Davis, sacked Russell T. Davis, and I'll come back. So can you arrange that? There are a couple sources that I'm going to refer to as far as why I believe Shooty Got was already gone from the series. The first one is Doctor Who TV, that is a site, and Rolling Stone UK in an article that appeared there in 2023. In that, Shooty Got was said, quote, theater kept me warm and it held me tight, even if I was broke, but I'm planning on getting back to it in 2024 after I finish season two of Doctor Who, unquote. Want more evidence? Shooty Gatwa was in the Radio Times in December of 2023, and he said, no idea, no plan. I just know I'm loving it, and my love for it is growing. Really? That's why you're sticking around for two seasons. That's why you'd rather go back and do theater. <laughs> but wait, where's my sham wow? 
there's more. Millie Gibson is auditioning for other roles. She was in a recent issue of Fabric Magazine. I have no idea. Is that sewing? Now that the strikes are over, Millie Gibson is going to audition for other roles. Quote, I think now that the strikes are over, I'll probably be auditioning again for parts and seeing what's out there. Gibson continued to mention that she wanted to change the type of character she was playing and that she was excited for what life would be like post Doctor Who. Again, Millie Gibson, quote, each year has seen such a change for me. It's hard to think of what might come next. I'd like to play a villain. If not that, I think I'm intrigued by biopic roles that you really need to do research on. I understand she's only 19 years old, maybe 20 years old at writing this article. But to come out and say that before the 60th anniversary specials even came out, I think tells you everything you need to know as to the success and what was perceived internally by Disney of their investment in RTD's indoctrination and messaging to the kids. Put up your hands. Oh, 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 oh. Again, but wait, there's more. I really did a sham wow. David Tennant cast in Marvel TV show, but it's not the villain return we'd hope for. What does that tell you? Now, a lot of people speculated that the reason why they did buy regeneration was because if Shooty got what didn't work out, they could always go back to David Tennant. Well, David Tennant is gone. He's been cast in the second season of a Marvel television show. Now he's not going to be reprising his role as Kilgrave. I didn't watch that. Shit. I don't know what that was on the MCU. Tenet will be voicing a villain in the upcoming season of Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. My life used to be pretty normal. <sighs> yes, you, you heard me correctly. David Tenet would rather do an MCU show called Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur as a voiceover role. <laughs> Then, then come back to what Russell T. Davies has done to Doctor Who. There is a trailer that shows his monstrous character who has, quote, a bone to pick with Moon Girl. Weird week, huh? Let's go! Does that preclude David Tennant potentially coming back to Doctor Who to try and resurrect what RTD has done? You know, somehow Disney is so screwed, they're just going to stick with this sinking ship of Doctor Who, post-Gawa, post-Gibson. I don't know. What do you think of all this? What do you think of Gawa being gone? What do you think of Millie Gibson hitting the road? What do you think of David Tennant? He'd rather voice over a dinosaur on a cartoon. Let's go! <laughs> That'd be Doctor Who. Tell me in the comments below. I hope you're having a good 2024 as ever. I'm Salty Traveling C. You have a good one. Get it, get it.